When we look at the story of Nehemiah, we find that Nehemiah, he rose up to the call of God and he was able to lead the Israelites that returned to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. But in seeking to do so, he, he faced so many challenges. And, but nevertheless, he overcame those challenges. He was able to inspire the people and lead them forward to accomplish what God has laid upon his heart. So there are some key lessons that we can learn from Nehemiah. Firstly, we can look at some of the types of challenges he faced because it's relevant to us today. The first one is this, it's facing uncertainty. So right here, Nehemiah, he was confronted. He was confronted with uncertainty. You know, even though he had permission from the Persian king, Artaxerxes, he had never actually yet seen the broken down walls. He, he hasn't seen the ruins. He, he has not yet surveyed and, and understood what was going on. And he had made plans despite this level of uncertainty that he had. And that is why when he arrived, Nehemiah, he wanted to better understand what the challenges were to rebuild the wall. And that's why he took the time. He went to check it out for himself. Nehemiah had unexpected things occur to him. There were some additional unexpected challenges that cropped up. Like for example, discovering that the nobles were, were extracting from the poor even more than they had and, and getting some, some of them into slavery and so forth. And, and we read about that in Nehemiah chapter 5. And the thing is this, even today, we live in times of greater uncertainty now. Because of all the turbulent times, I mean, now we face external uncertainties like the COVID pandemic, there's war, there's economic crisis and climate change and all those kind of things are just happening at the same time. And there are also internal uncertainties within our churches. Uh, what is the condition of our people's faith, their resilience, their health, and so on. But the thing is this, we should never let uncertainty stop us. You see, when you think about it, faith is really spelled R-I-S-K. You see, risk is about taking steps forward even in the midst of all this uncertainty. 